Today I'm going to show you how they paint this beautiful autumn painting with a couple walking in it. Using my HB pencil, mark the key area. So here there's the tree and maybe the tree coming in a little bit more toward the, the center like that. Coming up over here, up over here, up over here like that. So leave it later. I'd be creative. Uh, maybe there's a little bit lower, like that. That's good enough. And and then we're gonna see where's just the couple gonna be. They need to be about here, right? So we're gonna have them this high. Is that good enough? Okay. This high. Okay, there's this one person. There's the second one right over here. If you want them to be closer, you can move them a little bit closer. Okay, I think this is what it looked like in the reference. Okay, here you go. There's the arm a little bit more forward. I'm gonna get the tape. This is one inch width. So it should be Good enough. Okay, here we go. Now, exactly. Now here you go. The side over here, that's the hand. Right there. And the arm coming up over here. Now I'm going to use the X-Acto knife. It's very sharp. So now I'm going to start cutting that shape off. That's another way of masking. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to take this out. Right here. And the thing is pretty good. Make sure you press it right, right down. Use a little bit blue color, but very little bit. Very light blue color. And put it in some of the area that have the sky. Okay, like that. There's a few space like that that's a remind us right here okay this is good enough that's good and i'm going to start from here just use the corner of this there's a little bit more water and it's going to edge, on the edge, it could have a feeling a little bit of green, which is totally fine. And this is only for the tree in the background. Okay. And use this color as the wet agent to uh, soften. Okay, I give a, a few more over here. That's good. And also on this side. And coming down. That's pretty good. And always start from a big uh, connection. Okay, now I'm painting right on the tape over here. And the side. It's pretty good on the ground. Also have maybe a little bit more like orange color. Here you go, right here. There you go, like that. And paint over. The masking is give you the convenience that you don't need to be very careful uh, to leave the, the space. And you can paint around that if you want. You can paint around the white space. That's okay. Uh, if you prefer that way. Okay. Then here you go. And the front over here. A bit more like this. And we're going to paint a little bit more shadow. So I have this a little bit dry brush at the front over here. Like this. A little bit more. Get the yellow and a little red more yellow okay here you go 
that's good right there and on the other side and of course I'm also going to have a little bit more like that coming over here and the same thing over here I'm going to just tap it give it even more a little bit for the tree a little bit orange color and especially on this side okay you can see that it's, I always start from very messy um, so if you think this is messy that I think it's a passionate um, so Take a look at right here and make this side a little bit darker and that's good wet into wet and make it very soft this is pretty good i'm gonna have even a little bit more yellow coming in here like that and also make it a little bit softer too okay we have that like this and the gap over there you can fill in a little color in if you want to and that's good Make sure you have enough support behind these two figures and uh, maybe even a little bit darker so i'm going to actually have a little bit more red as so right behind the head so when i have the uh the light color uh, when i remove it 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 will be have a little bit more contrast like that even a little bit more blue color like this even a little bit darker this is good and now i'm going to go into a little bit deeper I get a little bit more greenish color, so I'm going to get more yellow in here. And the greenness is not really too bright, so I also have a little red, right? And get a little bit blue, and that will be the green color, a little bit more muted green color. So here we go. I'm going to put that right in here. Let's get. And the edge over here too. And then have a little bit color over here. Just think about the value when you are thinking about the color, right? Okay, I have a little bit pointing in here as well. Okay, that's good. Move that around. This is pretty good. And this is on the other side, so I'm gonna put that also a little bit more over here. Okay, so a little bit edge. This is okay, a little bit soft edges. Okay, and now coming to the shadow. The catch the shadow under the tree. Okay, this is good. Now also coming on to this side. So get a little bit red over here. Okay, oh, too much red. Get a little bit yellow. This is good. So a little bit more like a brownish color. So this is under is the shadow right here. The cat shadow. Okay, here you go. And have a little bit cast shadow like that have a little bit cast the shadow over here with the brown color just use the few here at the corner of this that's so will be fine okay that's good have a little bit interesting and look okay now before this couple there's also have cast shadow so I'm gonna just use this large brush here got just the corner of this and make it very very um, unexpected and you don't want to feel too control just have that coming through and this is good and for them also have catch the shadows I'm gonna have that a little bit over here too like that this is good prepare for that and all right let's take a look and we need to remove some of the color in here. And I just want to move this up a little bit. You cannot just move it up. You should also use the orange color and to actually push because the color uh, density actually also push the, uh, the dark paint up like that. Okay, push that up a little bit more. Okay, that's good. Now, this is pretty good and have a little bit more orange color since we have the orange color always, always also the edge over here on the top make a little bit softer kind of thin it and um, this is good I also going to move the color over here so if feeling that as something at the front of the, in front of them so at this point I'm going to use also the a little blue color okay a little blue color 
but I don't want to make it feel like a water puddle, okay? So I'm going to just use the little red. I'm going to feel like that is some um, blue color here. And have a little bit blue color here. Like that. That's just the concrete. Here you go. Like that. Here, a little bit more blue. Here we go. That's good. And this is the the areas that are not cover by the leaf. Like that. Okay, a little bit over here too. Okay, this is good. And I'm gonna lift up a little bit more over here, make it a little bit lighter. Okay, here you go. Make that a little bit lighter. Just a little bit lighter. That's good enough. And I'm gonna use the flat brush. And maybe that is gonna be work better. That's a little bit lighter. Like that. Making sure they feel like they are in the middle of the light. And I'm gonna lift up over here too. You see that? Just lift up a little bit soft light. So seeing that's a little light over there. A little light over here too. Okay, that's good. Now when we have that, we also have the yellow putting in here, make it a little bit brighter. And also over here too, a little bit more red and the yellow. I'm going to have this. This is good. Have a little bit more orange color. And that make this, the front over here, a little bit brighter and we're also going to have some a little bit spray to it i'm going to make that even more uh, so we're going to wait a little bit let it dry a little bit before we do the spraying so i'm going to have this up a little bit more have this a little bit more orange color into that so this is good like uh, you don't see the tree you don't see other things right at this point um so I'm going to use just the uh, clean water. I was going to splash into the right side on those shadow. Okay, so make it a little bit more um, uneven effect. So I'm going to come back over here. And this is kind of really fun to working on something that you never done before. Okay, that's why I try not to do the same painting twice. And so is make it more exciting that knowing that you get into an area that is very there's always something unfamiliar with okay you're gonna have that something like preparing some kind of discovery and what solution you're gonna come up with right every time have some now i'm gonna make this the color of the road and then I'm gonna put the catch the shadow on the on top of that. So a little bit later. That's the road. Here you go. Seeing that a little bit in the gap. And the same thing over here. I'm gonna have a little bit blue, even showing that a little bit something going on at the front. Okay, like that. And here you go. That's good. And here. A little bit red color like that and you can and we can see it some gap of the leaf okay that's a skit all right wonderful I'm gonna come back over here put a little bit darker color in okay here you go a little bit darker color right in here That a little bit soft also over here now I'm gonna have that a little bit shadow but this is still in the distance it's just good to have that it's just feel like there but it's, it is may not be there. so it's have a little bit soft feeling and that's good and I'm gonna do a little bit spraying oh there's some water drop in over here that's unexpected I like the um, unexpected part of the watercolor painting. 
Okay, here you go. Now I'm going to have that, the cast a shadow, right over here. Now, this is the cast a shadow. A little bit cooler color. That's good. Okay, over here. That's good. A little bit more clear. And also a little bit clear over here too. And think that the, the time going very nice and most of them is already dry, so keep a little bit. Uh, and now going to the row, gotta have a little bit more blue. And if I have the red shade blue color, even more perfect, but it's okay. Okay, this catch the shadow, you will have a little bit more uh, red shade blue than green shade. Okay, like that, have to catch the shadow right here. That's good that going through that it's very nice and I'm gonna have a toothbrush now I'm gonna use my toothbrush and first I'm gonna have a little bit brown color for the front over here. So I'm gonna just, uh, any old two brush, it will work just fine. I'm gonna just take a little red color. And here you go, like that. I'm gonna have a little bit blue color mix into it. And that should be good enough for the front over here. Maybe a little bit yellow. Just mix that, that's good. Now let's take a look. Just do it like that, use the thumb and scratch the bottom. And that's good. Okay, only at the front for this. I'm gonna get even a little bit more blue. More like texture and pattern and over a little bit over here at the tree the front of here okay that's good clean the brush and put it on the side all right i think at this point it's pretty good now we're just going to um drop in a little color i want to show you drop in this is still wet now what i'm going to drop in by having just the yellow color Get a little bit yellow color and I'm going to drop in and we use the drop in color it would push the other color away okay Get a little bit more water get a little bit water okay here you go now I'm gonna do that some drop in okay right here okay can I make it much much lighter so I'm even dropping a little bit water right there oop oop that's too much okay now it's an accident definitely is we need to recover this which is okay putting some color in so make the water less um, pushing okay that's good and I'm gonna open the brush. I'm gonna just use the some dry brush on the top over here too. Start working into uh, the tree soon. Okay. And this is good. This is contained. This is good. Have a little bit red. There you go. That's not bad. It just looks like that is another bunch of trees coming down over here. And Okay, a little bit more like that, a little bit more clear. That's good. All right, now let's walk into the uh, the lead, the tree uh, for the tree at uh, in front of us. So now I'm gonna use this the yellow again. Now. Coming into look 
like a little bit red even have even a little bit more blue but do that a little bit later so i'm going to just use the brush open it up a little bit give it a little bit more accidental effect i'm going to tap on it okay some of the tipping the leaves at the front over here here you go just tap 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 on it you don't have to do leaf by leaf okay that would be too much work uh, less fun okay here you go like that and here you go a little bit more clear and dry okay here you go like that coming all the way here okay some are at the front over here coming toward a little bit like now let's see a little bit more clear okay that's good a little bit okay keep going A little bit more, like that. I think this is pretty good. And I'm gonna have somewhere a little bit thicker. Okay, a little bit more red. A little bit thicker, that's area, this area. A little bit thicker. Okay. Okay, here you go. And this can be a little bit thicker. And Okay, and over here, have a few more. Okay, I think this is pretty good. Now we're gonna paint into the, a little bit darker into the background first. Now I'm gonna have this, mix the blue with the red together. Okay, a little bit darker. Now take a look at here. And a little bit small shape. This is still a little bit wet, which is perfect, seeing that. Have that coming here, disappear and come back like that. Wonderful, like this. That's pretty good. And then take a look at that is a little bit that a little bit continue. And I'm gonna have that little bit more line like that. That's pretty good. Now suggesting there's an in and out of the shape. Okay. Yeah, maybe a little bit down over here and I'm gonna have that little bit darker over here too at the bottom okay and we make the shadow okay okay a little bit bigger shape that's good okay that's good okay now as I think this is pretty nice on this side now I'm gonna start working into the tree trunk and when the tree trunk's there and everything is going to come together uh, it has like a boom the feeling okay here you go get a little bit blue all right now we'll start from the bottom where it's going to be i'm going to have it here and that's good right here here you go and coming up as we talk about and make it a little bit more curving this is less stiff okay that's good have that on and if you want you can have open up a little bit more that's good now take a look at the bigger piece okay instead of the smaller okay here you got the bigger piece and see that a little less a little feeling the leaf is blocking part of it okay here you go, that's good. Like that. This is very nice. And then coming over here, there's something over here. It says half of it. Okay, that's good. A little bit more coming over here. And now see a little bit. A little bit. That's good. That's fun. Okay, now I'm going to take a look at onto this side. And let's coming up over here and continue a little bit more. That's good. Okay, a little bit more. A little bit more. Like let it feel that is something blocking. 
but don't make it too thick because up over here it's a little bit smaller and smaller as it's, it's going up okay that's good see that very nice patient and planning okay on this side okay curve a little bit okay that's good and have a little bit smaller coming over here and a little bit broken like that that's good have a little bit more coming here and a little bit broken like that that's okay and take a look at the top over here I'm gonna keep going into here and okay here you go like that I can't have all the way to the top oh this is pretty good I like that see still see a little bit uncover okay now I'm gonna have a little bit this one and this is uh, a branch coming all the way this is more at the front and then coming into this shape that's nice okay and actually this connected in here so and there's another one connected here okay here you go okay that's good a little bit and have some uncover that's good more take a look at on this side this a little bit more at the front now stop and then continue like that right. this is pretty good now coming over here and then I have a little bit showing okay don't make it too thick it's maybe a bit too thick already okay can I see a little bit small branch like that so a little bit more skinnier and pointing to this two couple okay here you go now I'm gonna have a little bit over here too okay that's good all right you don't have to do exactly what it look but that will give you a good suggestions and hint and how the tree is connected okay a little bit over here a little bit over here okay I think this is this one is very good now I'm gonna use just slide a little bit later okay for the one in the distance okay right in here that's one and we started from here coming down here that's good and coming over here too okay a little bit pointing to this under this side that's good now a little bit over here and coming down this way okay so that tree looks pretty good I'm gonna have a little bit showing like that could be like that that's good okay now I'm gonna come to add a little bit orange color on the trees over here for the park that actually cover their uh, the tree trunk let me give a little big suggestions over here that's good okay give a little bit more details okay here we go the part over here that they are at the front so I'm gonna have that cover and have a little bit more cover like that it looks very nice very suggesting okay that's good and I'm gonna have here something cover okay have a little bit more getting there it's very good all right and 
And on this side, I feeling need a little bit more. Okay, a little bit more. I'm gonna give it a couple more over here too first. And a few more over here at the front. Okay, some little big suggestions at the front over here. That's good. Now I'm going to take a look on here and also need a little bit more suggestions. And here you go. Give it a little bit more, a little bit more, more red. Okay, maybe a little bit more blue. Okay, get a little bit more blue. I want to have a little bit more darker, a little bit more weight on this side. Okay, here you go. That's good. And we can actually have a, little, a couple more uh, tree in the background like that. Okay, right here. Okay, seeing that, not too obvious. Just a little bit. I'm gonna have that a little smaller tree coming over here too. Make it a little bit darker. Okay, be a little bit more creative that way. Um, I think this is pretty good. The front over here is still, uh, oh, so the tree we're gonna do a little bit detail. And the front over here, I'm gonna have a little bit more blue color. And I'm gonna put that a little bit more suggesting the cat shadow over. Okay, just have a little bit more blue color right here. That's good. Okay, the same as going into the road. Okay, and then in the front, I'm gonna have a little bit red and with almost like a little brown so i'm gonna have a little bit bigger that a little bit more like a random okay don't make it too too much like a pattern a pattern but it's not gonna be make it uh, to random the color a little bit Okay, let's make it more interesting and showing that more at the front. Okay. And maybe a few on the road too. Okay, that's good. And now we're gonna come back to have a little bit uh, detail on the tree trunk over here. Okay, just a little bit darker color. And here, I'm gonna add that, just a little bit darker over here and I'm going to see part of it it's a little bit darker that's good at showing that this tree is have a greater details at the front okay that's good okay okay that's just pretty good now we're going to come to, oh, I would like to also have this missing a tree trunk, a little bit now, a little branch right here. Okay, coming up, going to have a little bit more coming over here and a little bit smaller shape like that too. Okay, that may be a little bit too steep. I'm gonna soften that a little bit. Make it less. Uh, more yellow. Maybe coming over here. And sometimes you want to be brighter and the yellow color would bright up everything. Okay, orange also bright. But you gotta have quite a bit of yellow. Okay, there you go. And you're gonna bright up some color at the top over here. Okay, 
So let me over here. Okay. Let's get more yellow. Now I have more yellow. Okay. That's good. Now I'm gonna have a little bit of orange color. Just to feel a little bit darker at yeah, the front over here. So in the middle over here, it's showing a little bit more in the distance. I can soften a little bit more, so less of contrast. And also with help that give more attention to the couple. All right, I think this is good enough. I'm going to let go. And I'm going to take the tape off. I'm going to start from the bottom. Here you go. Careful. It should not peel off the um, the painting, so it should be fine. I'm going carefully with the knife. Here you go. That's good. All right, coming up. Okay, that's good. Actually, there's a little gap over here missing painting in. That's okay, I can paint that in. At this wonderful done. Okay, there's something missing over there too. The gap over here, the gap over here. Now this is good. We have a very clean space. Now what I want to do. I'm going to take a look at and now I have to use the red shade blue color. This one is Windsor Newton red shade. I'm going to take that over here. I'm also going to add that to the road too. I'm going to have a little bit more. The same as this ultramarine blue. Okay. There you go. Now I'm going to have this, just a little bit tiny, tiny blue color, this color, very interesting. Now I'll take a look at the shadow of her. Okay, here you go. That's very good. Leave the little gap of the light shape, okay, as well as this is more of the shadow side. Okay, coming down over here, that's good. And coming over here, and that's just her shirt. Okay, here we go. Now it looks like this okay. And on this side, there's the light shape. And the back over here, take a look at this, the shape. That's very interesting. I'm gonna take continue. Have it this is the first layer so we can get more and more details. Okay, or maybe a little bit darker. I can figure it out. Okay, the arm over here. Coming over here. That's good. And take a look at that. It's very nice. 
okay maybe a little bit darker i'm gonna have a little bit red mix into it a little bit too light there you go that's good and a little bit more All right, I'm gonna zoom in. The head have a little bit shadow over here. Okay, that's good. Maybe it's too dark. So I'm gonna actually take out some. There's the clean brush. Now to lift up, lift up some color. That's good. A little bit more. That's good. All right. Now we're going to also do the pins and have a little bit gray color like that on the light side. But a little bit too dark. Just use a little bit more light. Okay, here you go. A little bit more light. Okay, that's good. And the shoe has a little bit lighter. Like that. Very good, and the shoe have a little bit also a little bit more uh, blue color too. So that's a skit. Have a little bit blue. Yeah, here you go. That because the shoe is white. Okay, here you go. Like that. That's that is. And then we're gonna go to uh, the man. I'm gonna paint in the bigger area, so it's gonna be have just the red and with this red shade blue color together. I'm gonna to create that more like a darker purplish color. Okay, that's good. Like that, and let's take a look right here. I need to have a little bit water. Okay. Unless it be too dark for the light side, okay. Even more water. Now, moving on to this. That's good. Like that. Take a look at the shape of this. Always start from a larger shape. Okay, right here. That's good. Coming down carefully. We spend lots of work. We try to create a the light shape, the protection, so you don't want it so easy to low in it, right? So I'm gonna use the clean brush over here. I'm gonna move that in a little bit more. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna use a little bit darker color, so I have a little bit more blue in here. And that will make the color a little bit darker. I'm going to have it on this side. Here you go. Like that. Let's see. This dark color also make the, the arm to stand out of her. Like that. It's pretty good. Already. Okay. A little bit more. Now I'm going to come back to do the shadow area. So for him on this side and the head, I'm going to use a little bit gray color and take a look at right here. That's a little bit more shadow side. Okay, that's good. Like that. And my paper is very small, like I'm adding 9 by 10, uh, 10 by 7. So it's not a lot of room for the details. I'm gonna, if you want to, you can use a bigger paper. Okay, here you go. I used to always paint very big because um, my brush can actually let me paint much details unless. So I'm gonna go back to paint bigger too, um, but I can also paint very small. Okay, that's good. Right here. Here you go. Now I'm gonna looking at the shadow side. Look at the bigger shadow side right here. Coming in here. 
There you go. Now, separate two sides, two pens. Okay, that a little bit more in. Okay, like that, and have a little bit shadow in here, and coming to the leg. Okay, like that. That's good. Now take a look on this side. Okay. That's good. And this leg a little bit more backward. So make sure that make it feel like a backward. And also have a little bit darker at the bottom of the shoe right here. Okay, that's good. A little bit higher like that. That's good. That's good. Now showing that she's walking forward. And also the hand over here can be a little bit brown. So I'm gonna have that a little bit later. Okay, this is pretty good. She's pretty good. Now I'm gonna make the shadow side of his pants. Okay, I'm gonna have this color. That's good enough, a little bit gray. And also a little bit blue later. I'm gonna have that. That's good. Right here. Leave the light shape. Okay, here you go. Another one. Another shape. Okay, that's good. In the middle over here, star. Have the shape like that. And coming around. And here. And a little big shape. Right over here, that's good. Alright. And the top over here, that with the light shape and the dark shape is making so much interesting. Okay, gonna have that little big light shape at the top over here. Okay. Now stop it right here. That's the knee. Okay, and the knee over here, I'm going to add a little bit blue color. So get a little bit blue. Now, I want to color a little bit change. Okay, that's good. Like that. Very nice. And then down over here. A little bit more shadow over here. That's good. And, and this is pretty good. So far, I'm going to have a little bit darker. So, for the bottom of the shoe. Okay, right here. That's good. A little bit like that. Don't make it look too big. Okay, that's good enough. And we're gonna come back over here, use a little bit darker, a little bit later. And this side have, seeing that, a little bit shadow under the shoe. I don't have to make it too clear, that's good enough. Now, we're gonna carry the same color on this side. And a little bit shadow shape. Okay, very careful into that. That's good. Okay, now I'm gonna paint the um, the shadow on the sweater. Okay, here you go. Get a little bit more red. Mix into that. That's dark enough. That's good. Let's see. Look at the bigger shape right here. That coming and stop right here. That's good. So all this side is a little bit darker shadow. Okay, a little bit shadow over here. Beautiful. And the middle over here and have a little bit shadow. So recognize the lion shadow is very important. 
let's get make it much easier and more you have more peaceful okay here you go the top of the shoulder over here also the shadow make it a little bit darker here too that's pretty good okay now looks very good um and we'll come to the head uh, maybe add a little bit skin tone okay that's the ear i need to have a little bit more orange color okay right there that's good and the hand over here we'll come back to ping around the hand um that's a little bit orange color uh, for her hand right here it's a little bit warmer okay this side a little bit brown in the shadow okay that's good like that and i'm gonna have a little bit darker i guess this is quite a shadow i'm gonna have also have a little bit shadow over here separate and here now a little big shadow that's good okay and take a look at this arm and I have a little bit blue there you go that this arm a little bit darker now making her arm to pop a little bit more okay that's a very good so far I'm gonna put his head on okay a little bit more the blue color like that that's good enough okay top right here that's, that's good enough this maybe a, down a little bit more okay now take a look at her head her head's pretty good i'm gonna move this just a little bit small higher that's good and the bottom over here maybe a little bit darker too okay now it's time to put a little bit darker shadow here that's good looks pretty nice and I'm gonna put the a little bit darker brown color okay a little bit more of this get a little bit more red and for his hand in the shadow area like that very nice okay now the next thing also going to fill in the gap uh, some it looks like an orange colors now look at that gap over there hmm a little red that's good could be this color I'm gonna coming in right here that's a very different color than her arm and her shadow that's good now filling that in and coming all the way down over here that's good looks very good and the edge over here putting that in a little bit and also a little bit eliminate that a little shape now the top have a little bit more green color right so let's get a little bit blue and into this color and this is good a little bit more blue Okay, that's just good. And that would be filled in the top over here. Now it's separate from the arm and separate. That's good. And take a look at the shoulder, can cut in a little bit more like that. Okay. This is good. I wonder his arm um, a little bit stand out a little bit more I'm gonna make the outside to be just a little bit darker okay 
now it's all about the very contrast okay on the top that looks pretty good and I'm gonna lightly bleed the color out over here make it look more natural this is pretty good that's good like that and in here okay it's just the orange red color in here also I'm going to have it separate a little bit more coming in over here that's good it's a successful okay now to catch the shadow I'm going to have a little bit more the gray color now you can have a little bit warmer because the ground it has orange color so here you go like that and this is for him this is for her and maybe it's too dark I can have that just a little bit a little bit lighter brown color have it right here like that that's good right now we're gonna take a look oh this arm need to be a little bit darker too a little bit more blue can I have a little bit more blue color take a look at yeah it's a little bit darker that also the shoulder over here okay A little bit darker. Also here, give a little bit detail and I'm over here. So when you do this painting, look at or uh, maybe slightly modified the shape of the body. It may be make it even more meaningful for your friends and family if you're gonna do this to be a gift. Uh, shoulder coming down a little bit that's good all right that's pretty good i hope you enjoy this painting and make it to be a special one and for me i try to make every painting somehow connect with myself and from what I see in this painting, it's make me feel like the my memory of my parents. Okay, here you go. I think this is pretty good. The light shape, shadow shape. On this side, I'm gonna soften that a little bit. That's maybe a little bit too much texture for the background so it's a little bit softer and make a difference okay and I have a little bit shadow also offer for the trees in the background okay right here coming closer to there like that and a little bit more interesting all right so i'm gonna call this painting a finish i'm gonna sign it okay thank you